I began my work in conservation in the eastern Caribbean island of St. Lucia back in the 1970s, and I saw firsthand the outpouring of pride that ordinary St. Lucians had in becoming an independent nation. An independent nation needs a national bird, and so the Forestry Division, working with the government, chose the St. Lucian parrot, a parrot found nowhere else in the world except St. Lucia. And we decided to use the national bird to build pride in the species, and by extension, pride in the forests in which it lives. So before the campaign, the parrot, if anybody even knew it existed, they certainly didn't, most of them, believe that or understand that it was only found in St. Lucia. They thought it was the same parrot that they hear about in Guyana or in the other Caribbean islands. After the campaign, which was implemented by the Forestry Division, I think there was a genuine outpouring of pride. This belongs to us. This is symbolic of St. Lucia. This is only ours. Nobody else in the world has it. we began to know what didn't work. You know, you go up into the community and you talk about the silt levels running down the, the river and how many tons of silt end up on the coral reef and people sort of yawn and fall asleep. Um, when we went out and we told them they had something special, incredibly beautiful bird that was symbolic of the island, when musicians that were popular on the island sang about it, when children came home, mummy, daddy, a big parrot came to my school today and it gave me a badge because I answered the question right. It seemed to work a lot better than standing there talking about silt levels going on the reef. If you're telling somebody to be proud of something, it's, it doesn't ring quite as true as if some foreigner comes in. You know, you come to England as Americans and you should be proud of being English. It's like, well, who the hell are you, mate, you know? So if you have somebody who's living in the community, how, who understands the community, the social political context, um, is trusted within the community, when they talk about being pride, this is my homeland, and it's much more sustainable. We want to make sure we do everything we can to make sure the impact of our programs are sustainable. And one way of doing that is using local people as your messenger uh, from the community within, within which they live. Human behaviour is at the heart of most environmental problems and therefore if you have a toolbox that does not include behavioural insights and does not include a tool that addresses how to motivate people to change their behaviour, that's like trying to build a house without a saw or trying to build a house without a hammer. You can probably do it, but it would be a hell of a lot easier if you had that tool in the toolbox. 